Oh, everyone wants to be on the ash, don't they? Let's go. My name is Johnny and I make games. So today we're looking at my entry two weeks ago for the 48 hour game competition, which is called Ludum Dare. In that competition, you have 48 hours or two days to make a game with the theme announced on the Friday and then you um, had to try and get it uh, delivered on the Sunday. I'll try and do it in chronological order so it makes a bit more sense and then you can see things evolve as time progresses and see how I arrived at that final, uh, well, I say final, I might add some more levels and stuff and some tweaks, but the level that was submitted versus the initial idea, which was almost completely different, but at least in terms of theme. So yeah, anyway, on with the... Um... So on the day of the theme announcement, you have 16 potential themes that could be picked for the final theme for that weekend's competition. So what I would normally do is practice coming up with some ideas with those 16 themes. Uh, so this is what I'm doing now before the actual competition starts, as it were. So this is kind of like, yeah, day zero. Right, let's do this. Uh, ooh. It's ten past eight on the Saturday. I uh, went to bed before the theme was announced, so this is me finding out for the first time what the theme is, I guess. I was doing a lot of physical. Yesterday was a long day, so I, I could not go to bed early. Uh, so let's have a look. So it was one of these 16, I drew this up last night. So something every 10 seconds, side effects, mutations, duplication, use it or lose it, nothing is permanent. Corruption, shelter, parasite, overgrown, keep it moving, making connections, split, ascend, harvest, and you shouldn't mix those. So what did they actually go with? Oh, every 10 seconds? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Oh yeah, that's quite a cool idea. Although I can't, actually I shouldn't be looking because I might be um, inspired. <clears throat> so it's 11.22 now. And, uh, we're now 12 hours in. 36 hours left, I guess, to create a game. We've decided on the water rising one. So in theory, it should be a fairly simple mechanic to execute. <clears throat> this just needs fine tuning in terms of the Gravity. Because something I could add is just to just to make it more complicated. I think I could make this a penguin, right? And so you'd have mechanics purely based around the way the penguin moves in water versus on land. And then there's two modes on land because you can just waddle around at normal speed. And then I guess if there's a nice straight bit he can slide as well. But the sliding only lasts for a certain amount of time and then he has to waddle again. You can swim around. So I think most of this is just going to be tweaking of the mechanics and then once we've got that sorted, start working on the graphics, I guess. I might just make a prototype overlay for the penguin.
So this is the point where I lost my sprite sheet due to essentially this. So I hadn't updated Photoshop for a while and uh, the new version has a, a bonus feature. In the old days, you'd have a folder and you'd have your PSD, which is your editable file. And then you just hit save as, like that, hit <laughs> save as, and then you'd pick ping, and then you'd save it as a ping. You can't do that anymore. I don't know why. I have no idea why you can't do that anymore. So you've got to go, got to go through this extra dialogue and save a copy. Um, we're on Windows, and yet, from what I understand, it's because of something Macintosh have changed with their operating system. So, and I don't think it's been fixed yet. So there we go. Um, I lost all the sprites I was working on and just uh, had to go and take ten minutes to uh, <laughs> to regroup. Having been thoroughly demoralized by the uh, the loss of all the sprite sheet and stuff in the previous game, I started a new, and uh, let me see what time is. So, <laughs> this is a... Uh, this is nearly six o'clock on the um, on the first day, so already um, a bit of time lost. So uh, yeah, I had to think fast. So um, so yeah, this is where the um, this is where the slime and stuff came from. So basically, deleted the entire first game and then started again from scratch. I was looking up a bunch of references of people in hazmat suits and various other sort of things where um, toxic slime or, or radiation might be around. And then uh, obviously I like a good pun. So has Matt, has Cat. That's what I came up with for the title of the game and the character. So it's, I don't know if it really looks like it, but it's supposed to be a cat in a hazmat suit. And that's, that's kind of the whole, that's the whole um, concept. So my initial plan with Blender was to just use use it to model some quick sort of um, keyframe animations, trace over it with pixel art, and have a very traditional pixel art game like I had been working on with the Penguin. So everything would look pretty much like everything else I'd previously made looked. But uh, with time running out, I explored just uh, rendering out the frames as they were. So uh, after modeling the cat, I ended up just re just exporting the frames with Blender's default renderer and all the anti-aliasing, all that kind of stuff turned off to then give a sort of pseudo pixel arty kind of look or like a very early PC game kind of style. So um, none of the fancy anti-aliasing or all the other stuff. So it looks pretty rough and ready, but it kind of fits the aesthetic, I guess. So, uh, what? Uh, so we think we're <laughs> first day is over, and uh, not much to really show for it, because uh, yeah. So that's that's what I was working on. I was working on like a sort of penguin thing. It was going to be really good, but I kind of got demoralized by having lost lost it all, and I didn't really want to do it all over again. So uh, then I moved on to then trying to cheat by doing it in Blender. So this is where I'm at now. I'm modeling stuff in Blender. I mean, this is truly the worst <laughs> uh, topology ever, but since it's being rendered at uh, to this size image, I don't know if you can even see it. So when it's uh, when it's rendered out at this resolution, the main thing is getting the silhouette. And I've gone for quite bold colors. Anyway, yeah, so that's, that's the story so far for the first day. Although it's horrendously jank, the 
smoothness of the animation kind of offsets the really bad artwork. There's upsides and downsides, but I've got to I've got to fix this walk cycle because it looks terrible. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why. I think it's because one of his legs is like flapping madly. So yeah, once I got a workflow down with Blender, it was pretty easy to start prototyping stuff and putting things together. So I used Blender to build a lot of the kind of assets from the railings to the spikes to the crate that wasn't used. That got things moving pretty quickly. So it was just a case of taking the music from the first game, putting that in, and then uh, sort of rapidly trying to scrabble to get like a working game with some kind of actual game mechanic to then uh, publish for that evening. Just could I actually finish <laughs> title screen music sound effects. Uh... I think the actual game itself is mostly working. Managed to submit with six six minutes to go, uh, and that was that. <clears throat> so what's next? If I have time and motivation in the next few weeks, what I'll do is maybe finish up a few more levels and fix some of the features I wanted to add, like for example sound effects, more level mechanics, a better mechanism for the bridges, uh, a whole bunch of stuff that then should hopefully improve the game um, that I obviously ran out of time for because I essentially did it in one and a bit days rather than two because of the uh, the lost project for the first uh, however many hours and sleeping in, <laughs> which uh, is a no-no in a 48-hour competition. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully that's been uh, interesting, and uh, yeah, I'll see you. See you next time. In January, I think is the next one. I have already published a slightly tweaked one, which just uh, adjusts some of the gravity and some of the things that really bugged people in the uh, competition version. So, if you want to play a less irritating version, then that's um, that's on the game page as well. So uh, yeah, there you go.